Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to introduce you to a brand new architecture style. This is a, a systems architecture style developed here at Silicon Dojo in Asheville, North Carolina, called SOA. Now, I know there is already an SOA architecture type, service-oriented architecture, but that that is for the past that is old. What we've got going on nowadays is shit-oriented architecture. Because that's what this thing is. It's a shitty, 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 bang, bang. But it works. It does function. So anyways, tonight for Silicon Dojo, the class that we're going to be doing is having the ability to talk uh, to our computer. So we're going to be using Python. Uh, we're going to be using um, a couple of modules for Google text-to-talk service and or text-to-speech service and speech-to-text service. Uh, and then we're going to use AI, uh, basically the uh, open AI API, uh, as a way to get communication back from the system. So again, whenever I do Silicon Dojo, one of the important things is either to solve a problem or simulate a problem. So when you're in the Python world, I mean, you get the concept, but you don't really see a, a product like this. And so this, this was going to be the capstone. This was going to be the finishing project for tonight. And it's not going to be now. Because I got it working. I mean, it works. Oh, God, it works. Oh, I'm not really sure what I did, though. <laughs> Can I be honest? I'm not really sure what I did. So anyways, again, uh, so for Silicon Dojo, Python is our main programming language. Django is the main uh, web app framework that we use. And so my idea was basically using the HTML5 APIs that are built into web browsers. We would use JavaScript so that I could talk. I could talk to my web app. My web app would turn my, my speech into text, uh, send that to uh, OpenAI. Uh, to get a response back, and then we would get a response, and, oops, and, Jungle fell. Chickens are we would have the computer talk to us, right? So I can go over here to ask another question. So I click on this thing. Basically, I, I click on the start button right now to start talking, and then I click on stop. So I'll click on the start button. When was France become independent. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I was on the spot. I was on the spot. I don't know, is France independent? I don't know. Anyways, right, so we see this little thing up here is processing. So my voice uh, was turned into text, right? So see this, got turned into text. Um, when was France become independent? France became independent in the year of 843. And then I can hit the space bar. Oh, you're not seeing that. I can hit the space bar. France became independent in the year 843 AD. All right, and so that can then talk to me, right? I can go here and do start again. When was the Magna Carta written? You click stop. That now sends that, well, it sends it to itself, honestly, the server's on here. Uh, but basically we can go back here and uh, when was the Magna Carta written? You know, this is all the, the stuff going on in the back end. And the Magna Carta, also known as the Great Charter, was written. So there we go. So we have a web app that we can talk to. It will turn our speech into text. Uh, that text will get sent to ChatGPT or OpenAI. OpenAI will send back a response. And then that text response will be turned into speech. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This has been so painful. Um, so interesting things, right? So I'm using the speech recognition module uh, in Python uh, in order to turn um, a speech, basically a, an audio file, uh, into text. Uh, well, an interesting thing that I found out is that at least with Firefox and most of these browsers, uh, when you use the built-in API, uh, it saves the file as a WebM format. So .mp3, .wav, right? It science, uh, saves it as a .webm format. And so as things go, uh, Google's speech recognition API <laughs> doesn't understand WebM. So I went through a lot of trial and tribulation with that. So now I have FFmpeg, where basically I, uh, oh my God, you're gonna see this code. This is horrible code. Anyways, let's go to view. So basically in here, what I do is that somewhere, 
Uh, voice upload. Okay, so we got the voice upload here. Uh, so I have to delete files. If I don't delete files, they get added to instead of overwritten, uh, which is its own thing. Uh, then I have to come down here. So FFmpeg, I literally have to turn the WebM into a .wav uh, for that file uh, to be dealt with. Um, that was one of the things uh, I found out uh, in modern browsers, they don't allow you to autoplay audio anymore. So what I wanted is I wanted to be able to speak to the computer and then it automatically be able to respond with the audio. Uh, but apparently, you know, the marketers out there destroy the world for the rest of us. Uh, so you're not able to do that. So it's not hard. I mean, basically... 15. Right, play, playing something, uh, just using the space bar, that's easy in JavaScript. But you have to know that you actually have to do it, because I was trying to do it. I, like, I spent like 30 minutes trying to auto-load the audio just to play, and <laughs> that completely failed the hell out. Um, and then there are a whole bunch of other things with this. <laughs> so, yay, it works. How does it work? Duct tape. Duct tape, bubble glum bailing wire um so anyways we'll probably we will probably do this as a project for silicon dojo at some point in the future uh, but i do think this is interesting for folks to understand again so we're taking we're taking an html page we're taking javascript so i am able to talk to this app it sends all of that information up to the web server the web server processes with apis and all that kind of stuff sends me back the text and the audio uh, so this is something that you can do Again, anytime you can turn audio into text, you can then parse and then you can test against it. Uh, so with this, with this basic system, I could ask the computer to do something. Computer, what time is it? Computer, do I have anything on my schedule today? Computer, whatever else. Now you do have to code it. You do have to code all of those if else responses. Uh, but now that I have this basic thing going on, uh, that would be relatively easy to do. Um, and again, like I literally wrote this, uh, as frustrated, as frustrated as I am right now, it is kind of fun to think I've spent about, I don't know, maybe four or five hours on this, maybe four or five hours on this. And to be frank, I'm pretty crap at JavaScript. One of, one of the valuable things of doing this is actually getting better at JavaScript. Um, so I'm pretty crap at JavaScript and I was able to get this far in, you know, four or five hours of playing. Uh, so it does, it shows you, uh, you know, some of the cool stuff that you can do with modern uh, technology. Uh, so anyways, yeah. SOA, shit oriented architecture. That's, that's, what, that's what we're experts on here up in Asheville, North Kakalaki. Oh, we're, we're, we're the best of SOA. You wanna, you wanna duct tape shit to your project? We'll do it well for you. So anyways, uh, there you go. Again, we're using a speech recognition uh, as the back end uh, module uh, in order to turn speech into text. We're using something called GTTS. Uh, in order, I think, uh, what is that? We, that turns text into speech, um, and we are using the JavaScript, uh, the basically HTML5 APIs, uh, to get the audio up to our Django web server. So anyways, if you like these types of videos, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like these types of videos, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, it's only, what time is it? Can I have a beer yet? It's not even two o'clock in the afternoon. I really want a beer right now. Anywho, with that, see y'all later.